Hello, everyone. So in this video, we are going to explore the inscribed parallel in a, a circle. So by using our uh, inscribed angles, OK? So and then see if there's a nice relation. So first things, uh, I'll start with a like drawing a circle. So I'll go ahead and draw any like um, random quadrilateral. So if we have no idea about its uh, side length. So let's say this is the uh, three size. And let's say this is the another one. OK, so let's name those as well. That's A, that's B. That's C and that's D. I'm gonna use the inscribe angles uh, definition to get some relation. But if you do not know the inscribe angle and what is that looks like, please review that uh, other videos about that. So that is something I like to remind. So inscribe angle was the angle in between two chords, right? So if I take the angle A right here, so AB is a chord, AD is also another chord. If I name this is like alpha, maybe I should call angle A, so I'm gonna actually let's, let's call it A. So this is my inscribed angle. So the AB has endpoint at B and then AD has endpoint D, which means the that angle A is actually subtended by this arc. So let me highlight this piece. So this arc, like the arc measure of like B, C, D, okay, is equal to twice of this angle because this is my inscribed angle. So the, the arc that is actually subtending by, um, like subtending that uh, angle is equal to twice as much. So that should be two times the angle measure, measure of A. So I'm gonna just call two times A, okay? So that's A degrees. Okay, so that's something. And also, I'm gonna use similar reasoning for the angle C. So if I take this angle C, so that would be C degrees, for example. And that C is in between chord B, C and chord C, D. So B, C is ending at this point. This is one end point. And C, D is end, has end point right here. So the arc measure in between those two end points is going to be, this arc, right? So that has to be twice as much of this angle C. So I'm going to say this is two times C degrees. So the angle measure of BAD, arc BAD, is going to be two times C degrees. Okay, so let me write the previous one as well. So this was two times A degrees. Why do I care about this? Because if I look at these two together now, you know, if I want to like add these two angles, because this one's B to D, like this side is red angle, and then this side is the other part. But if you add the red angle and that's like purple one, these two completes the full circle, right? So which is why if you add these two, we should get a full circle, which is a 360 degrees. So if I add these two angles, so that will give me angle measure of BCD, which is the arc BCD, uh, plus arc measure of BAD is equal to two times A degrees plus two times C degrees. And we know these two add up to 360 because that will make a full circle. And this is equal to two times A degrees plus C degrees. If you divide by two, you will get 180 degrees. That is equal to A degrees plus C degrees. So why this is important? Because we just see a nice relation. So, and A and C is not concrete in this problem. I just made it in general. So meaning that if you know that angle measure of this A, you can get this angle measure C, which is the opposite angle, immediately by subtracting from uh, 180. So angle A and C, which is opposite angles, are actually supplementary. And if you use the same reasoning, you are gonna see angle B plus angle D is also supplementary. So which is, I want to write as well, but I'm not gonna do the same steps, but if you do so, so you had the second step as, second result as 
angle measure of like ABC. Okay, so plus angle measure, like when I say ABC, so I mean this angle, ADC. So the ADC add up to 180 as well. So again, the office angles in it, uh, like quadrilateral, if that quadrilateral is on this inside of a circle, is supplementary. And converse of this is also correct, meaning that if you are given a um, quadrilateral in a circle, and if you know the opposite angles like this one, and I mean, yeah, if you, well, let me say this one more time. If you are given a quadrilateral and that has the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees, meaning that that quadrilateral should be inside of the circle. So you can draw a circle around that quadrilateral basically. So if there's like supplementary angles, then you may uh, draw a circle around that quadrilateral. And then that is called um, converse of this uh, inscribed quadrilateral theorem, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I'll, I'll do some examples. So this is the reason behind that uh, relation. So you can take a look at the examples. So let's take a look at those. 